A Penn State student out jogging was struck by a truck in State College on July 3rd has died. The family's website says Ava O'Brien died because of her injuries. Police say she was hit by a pickup truck after stepping in front of it on North Atherton Street. Meanwhile, State College police are still looking for the driver in a hit and run involving another Penn State student. Last weekend, police say the 21 year old was hit in the 500 block of Blue Course Drive in Ferguson Township. That driver took off. Thanks for joining us. It's stories we bring you too often about people being hit by crossing streets or walking in busy intersections, but there are ways to stay safe. Lauren Hensley talked to runners about how they take extra precautions on the streets. Lauren? Well, Mel, even though the driver of that truck that struck and killed Ava O'Brien was not at fault, pedestrians are saying that these recent accidents are causing them to think twice and to practice extreme safety measures when approaching a busy intersection. Well, I know in this intersection in particular, they just come around this right, uh, make this right turn. They don't even like stop at the red, they'll just do a quick turn. I see it all the time. Tim Doris is not only a Penn State graduate, but he's also a State College native. In his many years walking along this intersection, he says he's seen cars run red lights, speed, and even crash. Be extra careful before you cross and look both ways. Before crossing at North Atherton Street and Park Avenue, Doris and Punky take another look. This is the same intersection where police say Penn State student Eva O'Brien was jogging and stepped in front of a pickup truck. Police say the driver's not at fault, but the family's website for Eva says she died 17 days later because of the accident. It's really sad when you hear about runners who've gotten injured or have died from running accidents. And so I think it just really makes you more aware and that it really is a risk, even if you think that it might not be. And you know, most people are cautious drivers. You know, every once in a while, something really bad can happen. And several miles away in Ferguson Township, this is where police say a car hit a man and drove away. The 21-year-old Penn State student was flown to UPMC Altoona with life-threatening injuries. That's just completely awful. It's it's not right, and I just think drivers need to be more aware that people do walk. Students saying walking is a means of transportation for most and paying close attention may help save a life. Walking to work and school and just going for my daily runs, I see that a lot of people really don't pay mind to the surroundings that they have. Um, most people ignore the stops that are visible and the pedestrian crosswalks, which is really unfortunate because I've almost been hit a couple times. Now, police, they are still searching for the driver involved in that hit and run accident in Ferguson Township. That happened one week ago today. So if you have any information, you're encouraged to contact police. Reporting live in the Center County Newsroom, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.